I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on the potato and carrot eyeballs that I make. So I use these uh, ice cream scoops or they're serving uh, scoops from a restaurant store. Uh, and I've gone ahead and I've taken out the little doohickey uh, and I've even sharpened this edge, uh, which isn't completely necessary, it definitely helps. But uh, even if you have a melon baller uh, in your cupboard or in your kitchen drawer, this is uh, perfect uh, for smaller eyeballs and uh, works just as good. I'm gonna use two different sizes because I think that that adds a little bit of character to the overall pumpkin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this tightly and just start to inch this in sliding back and forth and the the objective is to get into the front of the eyeball and make a clean cut because the, the potato tends to snap you you don't get a full cut it breaks see that break the potato eyeball and you can see that there's a little break in there which i'll end up polishing out with one of these green scotch bright pads for you know usually just doing dishes but this helps polish these up really good so i'm going to do another one because i'm not completely happy with that eyeball uh, try to get a little bit better of a cut here. Again, creeping up to the front first and letting it snap somewhere else. So it snapped down here this time. It should be a cleaner eyeball, which, which takes less polishing. So that's a piece of potato eyeball. I've taken two out of this one potato. I have two different size potato eyeballs, and these will be great to bring this guy to life. Uh, you can see that I literally cut these uh, less than a minute ago. These, these potatoes are already starting to brown and oxidize. And that's another uh, one of the main questions that I get, like how do you keep your potatoes white? And the trick is, uh, is this real lemon juice. It's actually real fake lemon juice uh, from Concentrate. You can pick this up at the grocery store, uh, but it works great. And I have a little bowl here. I dilute it with a little water. It doesn't have to be pure, pure. Um, but I let all of my potato pieces just take a little bath and hang out in there while I'm preparing my other materials. The other tip for uh, these potato and carrot eyeballs um, is this little eyeball kit that I have here. Uh, it's not sold in stores, but you'll see that I have a variety of different uh, tubes here, um, ranging from very big all the way down to very small. Uh, and this, this tubing can be found at uh, specialty hardware stores or even like uh, craft stores like a Hobby Lobby sometimes carries them uh, and I've collected these over the years but usually the thinner the wall the better and these are uh, brass tubing that works wonderful for these eyeballs. The next step is to polish our potatoes and uh, they're two different sizes and what I'm going to do I'll let one soak but I'm using a scotch Bright pad that you you know you find at the hardware store and, or even the grocery store. Uh, this works really well for smoothing out any tool marks on the pumpkin and you can see immediately just a couple passes will start to smooth out any rough spots and I'm actually going to use this in conjunction with the lemon juice to kind of just polish this uh, and reshape this eyeball until it's nice and smooth. You got to be careful these things are uh, extra slippery. You'll notice I'm wearing rubber gloves. I don't usually wear gloves but in the high point of my season here, uh, I usually have nicks and cuts and the, the lemon juice really just uh, bugs me when I'm, when I'm making these. So I like to glove up and keep, keep my hands intact for the rest of the month because a lot more hours of carving ahead of me. You can see I'm just rotating the potato and kind of polishing. This gives me an eye on the shape, pun intended. Uh, I'm just going all the way around, taking everything off and smoothing these things out. Really nice, you can see how beautiful that is. And anytime I make a cut or a polish, I'm gonna pop it back into its bath and let it hang out. So here's the second one, this is the smaller one. And that had that high spot on there, so I'm gonna start there. Using circular motions. Otherwise, this, this stuff really kind of eats into this potato. Uh, and can distort that perfect sphere that we got with our scoop. So just be careful. Because you can see how nice and smooth that comes out. And I can refine these even further, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're just gonna keep on going. Um, so now that I have those polished, we're gonna jump over to our toolbox here, and I'm gonna find a tube that makes sense for the size of the eyeball. Uh, and I wanna start with the retina um or the bigger part of the eye 
So my two better eyeballs that have been polished, they're two different sizes, but I'm gonna use the same pipe for the retina. And I think that this size is pretty good. Uh, usually I will build my design and then place the retina because the way that you put this in, sometimes you don't wanna go dead nut center, you wanna go off center uh, and you still wanna go straight through because you're playing with perspective here uh, to kind of trick the eye uh, with these pieces. So, um, without knowing exactly where I'm going in here, uh, it's a little bit tricky, but I will, uh, I'm going to make these off center and we use this pipe or this tube to cut a hole right through the center here. And you can see that that's a perfect, perfect hole. And I still have this drop. Uh, and again, any cut that I make goes back into the lemon juice so it can soak into that fresh cut. Uh, I'm gonna reference this one quickly, just so we're on the same page here. Now these are off center, but I think that they're more fun that way. So I have two this way, and this guy could be kind of looking off to the side or something. Um, and I'm just doing this quickly for the tutorial here, but these potato pieces will end up coming uh, useful for the eye catch that we do, which I'll explain in a minute. But uh, essentially that's it for the potato pieces. These are gonna just go right back into the lemon juice bath. Uh, and I'm gonna jump over here uh, to my carrot. So I just need a little less than an inch length for each one of these eyeballs. You'll see that the center of the carrot has this great texture that kind of goes right into the into the middle and it almost looks like the iris of an eye so uh, i just love these eyeballs uh, again i'm going to take my pipe which is not this size it was this size so we're using the same size tubing for our carrot uh, that is going to fit into the female end of this uh, this potato i'm going to do this quickly i want to pop these out There's one Again, I'm using the center of this carrot because I love the texture. Try to get them straight up and down if you can. <clears throat> I'm gonna pop those out. These pieces uh, will become obsolete essentially, but I even dip these in a little lemon juice because I think it just helps keep them moist while I'm working. And also uh, the lemon juice acts as a little bit of a disinfectant uh, to kind of slow the decay process. So I'm going to square these two ends up. Um, that way I got a nice area here and those will set across. I will show you real quick how this all comes together. So again, using just the tubing, I've been able to cut a hole in the potato and, a, and a, the exact same size out of a carrot and this will fit in there snug as a bug in a rug. And uh, if I push it back slightly, you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, that will become an eye. This this eyeball was cut way off center, which either could work or not work, but the fun about this uh, is that it's just a pumpkin carving, so have fun. Um, again, I'm gonna rinse these, otherwise they start to tarnish or patina. Um, keep everything nice and tight. And then I'm gonna find a tube that works for the pupil, which is probably gonna be this one. Um, so this is the tube that I will use to cut out the center of this hole, and that'll create the black mark, or the black center, the pupil. If it's the pupil or is it the retina? I think it's the pupil. Anyway, bingo. Beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna get an even a smaller tube down in here. push my carrot pieces out. Boom. We'll cut this one quickly. Same thing. So these are going to become the eyeballs. And I'm actually going to save these carrot pieces too. We like to use every piece of the fruit that we can. I'm going to just pop those in the lemon juice and I'm going to use an X-Acto blade here. And what I'm going to do is just put a little 45 degree chamfer on the inside of this carrot. This doesn't have to be done, but I feel like it adds just another layer of depth to the eyeball and really makes it come alive. So 
I'm just working my way around the whole carrot here. This little piece will come right out, or will it? And you can see that that has just a little bit of a, an angle to it, uh, which will, these little striations will catch light and I think will just perform better than a flat, a flat cut, so. Just like that. So there's our carrot pieces. Uh, this Scotch-Brite pad is really good for taking out any tool marks and kind of softening them. You want to be careful because these edges are very delicate. Uh, but that, that chamfer cut actually frays the potato, or I'm sorry, the carrot out just slightly, which is what we want. Quick, so it's really only a few moves. Uh, having the right tools, a little bit of lemon juice, and, uh, and some thyme. So here's our potato pieces that we cut. And again, I, I cored out these potatoes to be slightly off center because I think it just performs better. Uh, but you'll see how this ordinary piece of potato and a piece of carrot will, uh, will come together to make a really creepy eyeball. And I hope you guys can see it there. I don't know how my angle is, but uh, both of these will go right in to the potato. And I'm gonna set them back slightly. And there we go, we got a set of eyeballs. I'm just going to push this one back slightly. And bingy bango. You got two, two eyeballs from carrot and potato. Uh, these eyeballs are just good the way that they are, but uh, you'll see that there's usually another little, little tiny piece of uh, potato in most of my eyeballs and that is to give the illusion of the eye catch or the reflection on your eyeball which everybody has uh, no matter what light. Uh, so I'm going to drop down to my thinnest tube uh, and I'm going to use that for the carrot pieces. This one I'm going to take out because it's a little loosey-goosey but I'm just going to find the, the side of one of these walls and cut through. I don't want to go out here. I want to stay within the, the pupil. Try to make a nice clean cut and I'm going to use a piece of steel rod here to get rid of that uh, that carrot. Now if you remember we saved a few of these potato pieces and I'm going to use one of these to steal that eye catch and the same thing instead of that piece in here being a drop it's actually going to be a piece that we use so it's a nice thin little snake of, uh, of potato. So this is gonna get chopped down. I'm gonna put this back into our eyeball, or potato rather. And I'm gonna try to pick this up with the edge of my X-Acto knife. And I'm gonna slip it right in. And try to nest it right in there. So this this will become the eye catch that you see on everybody's eyeball. And this is how, if you, you it's, it's important to remember when you're, when you're doing these, it's only gonna read in one direction. If it's this way, it just looks like a couple of vegetables, but if you catch it just right, uh, it'll look insanely realistic. And uh, that's what I love about these pieces. I've been kind of refining this over the last few years. So you wanna match these uh, these eye catches. So again, normally I would have my design set first, but uh, I'm just gonna try to find a similar location for the second eyeball. Take a little tube of the carrot out, grab a potato, use the same tube. This time this comes out and you're good to go. Now, I didn't soak that one in lemon juice. You, you at least want to dip it, because that'll oxidize too, but we're gonna chop this one down, pick it up, and try to nest it right in there. Now, because these are wet, this will kind of just stay in there, but sometimes, if I'm doing a carbon that I know I'm gonna use for a day or two, uh, I'll use a little bit of super glue. Super glue works really well on eyeballs so anyway there you have it potatoes carrots a couple of the right tools and even you at home can make a set of beautiful 
Potato and carrot eyeballs. Ooh. Hope you guys have fun. If you have questions, hit me in the comments or DM me. Um, I'm here to support you guys, give you all the tips and tricks that I've learned over the last 20 years as a professional carver. And uh, happy Halloween.